This morning, Jennifer Joe, rather Senator Joe Donnelly, is learning firsthand the challenges people on the northwest side of the town face daily. Donnelly secured a grant, and he believes it'll help out the folks there. The grant money will go to address the drivers of crime. And rtv 6s Jade Hyman joins us now with what she learned this morning. Jade. Well, good afternoon. From where I'm standing here at 29th and Martin Luther King, you can see the Double Eight Foods. It's closed down, a grocery store that no longer serves this community. Also, you can see businesses and homes boarded up. It's one of the things that residents say is a breeding ground for crime. Senator Joe Donnelly walked a few blocks of these streets this morning, along with community organizers from the Flanner House, to see the problems people are facing and to talk to people directly. He's trying to help get a plan together to spend a $150,000 grant that he helped get for the area. The Burn Criminal Justice Innovation Program grant will benefit the Northwest District by helping with development and crime prevention. Today, Donnelly was able to pinpoint how those dollars will be most effective. Nobody knows better than the folks in the neighborhood. We were walking down the street, and as you're walking down, you see a house with uh, with the window open. And our friends from IMPD said that's one of the houses where all kinds of uh, bad activities occur. And so they have each house identified where all of the trouble is coming from. Now, Donnelly went on to say, we just need to try to get the streets safe for kids to walk down. Right now, there are plans in place to get a grocery store here, to get redevelopment going, and to fix up homes in the area. Of course, those grant dollars will help in that effort. Live on the northwest side, Jade Hindman, RTV6.